Hello darlings, Tammy and Tiara's here. How are you all doing? Well, spring is springing here in Ballarat. The trees are full of blossom. The birds are as happy as can be. The bees are even happier. And the colours are amazing. I apologise for the wind in these videos. But there's not much you can do about Mother Nature, is there? It's so lovely to watch the trees coming, coming out in blossom, one at a time. Bert and I look every day and look for the changes in the garden. My doodah tree is coming out beautifully. It's such the prettiest pink. And behind it is a lilac. So that is flowering when the doodah tree finishes. It's actually a flowering cherry. But has no fruit. Lucy's been Lucy, lots of barking. But she seems to be getting a lot more affectionate with me, which I really love. The garden is at its most beautiful at the moment, with the daffodils are out. Yeah, there's the frog in the pond that the fairy's looking at. Mm. And it is beautiful. Our Bob Hope camellia is flowering like mad, and all the flowers fall into the pond. But I don't mind, I just scoop them out, throw them on the garden, as you can see. Oh, it's so lovely to look out the window and see this. I'm wondering whereabouts you all are in the world. I hope you can leave a comment and let me know. I love the wind chimes. This is the plant that we planted together, Oscar and I, in that garden. I haven't done much with the garden bed since we did it because I've just let them settle. So the days are a little warmer, the nights are still cold. But you can definitely feel that it's coming into, into better weather, which always cheers me up mentally because the weather affects my mental mood greatly. I think it affects everybody's mental mood, to be honest. Do leave me a comment and let me know how you're going. If you've had any challenging things happen and how you're coping with them. As you probably know, I've been uploading a lot of shorts. They're lots of fun to do. I do it for fun. Look here at the fairy house. I come out and check it every day to make sure that they're all still there and all still looking very happy. It's school holidays here at the moment and I've had Emma for the morning and that was fantastic. We had so much fun together. Then I was so tired afterwards. What is it? I used to have so much more energy, but of afternoons I really don't have much left. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? You've got to love daffodils. So what ways have you been keeping yourself occupied and happy? Let me know in the comments, won't you, darlings? Something I miss greatly here in this home is a hot bath. We had a spa bath in our last house and I really, I found it quite challenging to clean at times, but I, I used to do it without any problem. But I have to say, I miss a bath. Can't a bath make you feel so good just soaking in it? Going to the swimming pool and sitting in the, in the spa they have there is not the same as your own bath at home with candles around it. I love getting down at a very low level to look at the flowers. I think you get such a prettier picture of the garden.
What kind of gardens have you got where you are? I love the wild hyacinths. They're such a vivid lilac -y blue, aren't they? Once again, I apologise for the wind. There's not a lot I can do about it. So within the matter of a week, this changes from being like this to coming out in full bloom. As you can see, I use this tree in my shorts so you would have seen me in front of it when it was out a little bit more. I found this stick at the park. Can you see it? It is just gorgeous. And Bert is very busy now too. It's just another launch and landing spot for our birds. So he's put one bracket on the house. Now he's going to put a bracket on here, and then it should be secure enough for our birds. Now the thing is, maybe the top bits are too thin, but they know that, and if they break, will they fall down? Here he comes. The second bracket, darling. native birds. We encourage them. We don't have any cats here. It's so pink. The beautiful tree over here is still pink, but you can see that the green is coming through and it's in the next stage. Oh, she's put on a beautiful show this year. So beautiful. I'm very lucky to have a grandson who's so considerate. Oscar has trimmed all through here for me because of the one thing that will kill our birds, the black cat. She is known to hide in this, that's why I don't have any growth down the bottom. So Oscar trimmed it all back for me today. Plenty of room for the birds to still enjoy here. These are the tulips Anna Marie brought me last year. Aren't they beautiful? Lou and Rufus always have a lot to say. Go and get it, Lucy. Go and get the ball. Don't be so lazy. Lucy, go and get the ball. You're tired out after the park, are you? Completely worn out. Go and get that. Go and get Wilson. Fetch. Get Wilson. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Lucy. Bring it here. No, I'm not going to get it. Bring it here. No, you have to do better than that. Bring it here. All the way down to Mummy. <laughs> no, it won't work. The whinging isn't working. It's worthy, Lucy. I can't take it from there. Yes, you can give me kisses. Get the ball. Get the ball, Lucy. Definitely easily sidetracked. Thank you.